Hello, everybody. It's ya boy, Selenanil. Give me a second. I have to alt tap back into the game. There we go. Tom Clancy's Rambo Six Siege. I am currently level four. I uh, I love this game, and I play it a lot um, every week. Actually, I I normally put about a hundred hours a month into it. Uh, give or take, based on what um, what emails I get from Rainbow Six about my PlayStation progress and what characters I use, how many games I play, win loss, deltas, all that nonsense. Um, how many headshots I'm landing, how many body shots I'm landing, how many assists I'm getting. It's actually like a really cool analytical email for people who just like analytics about things they do, which I am. Um, it's probably going to be a bit lower this month because my friends who I used to play with just kind of don't anymore um and a few of the ones i still play with they're good people but playing with them for a certain period of time like breaks my brain and as of the time of this recording you know there's actually a free weekend going on in rainbow six and they're about to announce all the details for the next season tomorrow which i'm really excited about uh grim sky um we already have teaser trailers for maverick and clash our two new operators um for people who've never played rainbow six um it's a competitive 5v5 multiplayer game uh, with objective-based um, sort of search-and-destroy kind of gameplay like in the old Call of Duties. It's basically search-and-destroy the game where basically you have one life around, there's an objective, either kill the enemy team or complete the objective. Um, and there are a bunch of base game operators. We have them from a bunch of different factions within real world military organizations we have the gign the spetsnaz the fbi swat um the sas uh this is a special thing this is a cbrn ctu i think it's cbrn um she's a dlc operator finka is the first uh character i picked up with the game because i had enough <laughs> rainbow six fun bucks to buy one character and finka is one of my favorite attackers in the game um so again, I play the game a lot on console. I'm not playing with a keyboard. Or I'm not playing with a controller, though. Um, I believe you can set up a controller and play with it. And honestly, if I were a smart man, I would do that. And I would just play every other game with keyboard and mouse until I got used to it. That way, I'm still like doing good in matches, getting decent renown which is a different version of their fun bucks, so I can more quickly unlock the DLC operators, because if you don't pay money for them, it takes a while. It's a bit of a grind. Um, but, no, just ignore the situations for now. I'll, I'll do those eventually, maybe. I mean, I've already perfected them on the console. It's kind of a pain in the ass to do them again. Either way, let's just go in. Now let's just play a casual match. We can't queue ranked because there's a twenty, a level twenty limit or uh, minimum. And uh, yeah, you get to watch a console player just fucking suck at FPSs on, on uh the computer. I thought that might be fun for people to see, um, because I'm bad. Like my aiming is off. My gun control is terrible right now. My movement is probably the worst though. Crouch. I don't. I. I actually don't know how to go prone yet. Um, because in other games, it's usually like Zed or something, but I have no idea what to do with it. Alright, so we're on Villa, which is a new map. It's actually the map I know the least. Uh, and we're playing Secure Area. I think we're going to go Schnapcan, because he's just good. And I still have a challenge, I believe, to win rounds with uh, Spetsnaz characters this week. And the challenges are neat little ways, Ubisoft. So like here, we'll throw you an extra pittance of fun bucks a week. Um, for people who are willing to do them. And I'm one of those people because I like this game and I'm an objective-oriented person. So giving me a quest that's like, hey, you want to earn some money? Here's a quest. I'll be like, fuck yes. It's why I play so much Elder Scrolls Legends. It's like, I mean, every day I hop on Elder Scrolls Legends and pound out five or six games just to get my quests done. Or at least started for the next day. Alright, so uh, every character has their own gun and weapon kit, um, but they also have their own gadgets and a unique gadget. Um, I'm playing Capkin, for anyone watching who doesn't know what Capkin does, but I imagine people watching this are like, probably decent at the game already. 
Capkin does this. He sets up EDDs, Entrance Denial Devices, um, which are basically trip mines that if an enemy walks on, will uh, give him the old blow up. All right, um, one of the guys on the enemy team has left. Oh, and now they're team killing on my team. This is also a problem with... No, oh, murder him for me. That, that's disrespect. How about you not dig around, though? I mean, that'd be nice, too. I'll dig you around. Well, sadly, this is, like, what we have to deal with in the community, though. And sadly, it's no different on console. Oh, I meant to crouch there. Instead, I knifed. So this is a lot of Rainbow Six. Holding an angle. Waiting for the enemy to come. Our bandit just got a kill. Whose name is also a bandit? That's pretty fucking cool. I think I normally run reflex on this gun, actually. Now that I look at this scope. Pig Jesus Man, Waffle. Filthy. <laughs> They're having fun over there. It sounds like the enemy's pushing that way, but they could flank around, so I want to hold my position here. Jesus is right on the other side of that door. Well, fucking just. Oh. There we go. That was really sloppy, and I probably should have died, but they missed me a bunch. Whew. I'll take it. I, uh, I'm really bad, guys. Like, my aim control with the mouse is so bad. Uh, we are going to think it up, though. I paid for her. I'm going to use her. Let's hope these assholes don't just team kill each other again. Hopefully that was just them dicking around for the first round, but... Stuff like that just annoys me in the game, you know? It's it's my least favorite part of the game. Not the team killing, because I think the team damage should definitely be on. It adds a level of skill. It adds a skill ceiling, right? You want to be able to make these plays, but also be aware of your friendlies. Like a real-life military situation. If you take the shot and kill a friendly, I mean... That shot better have been fucking worth it. Alright, they're not basement. Not basement. Just letting the old teamy team know. I don't know how the fuck to get out of here, though. I think the stairs are this way. <laughs> like, I, I do not know this map. I've probably played less than three hours worth of matches on this map. Uh, the Oh, here they are. The enemy team has a frost. A bandit. I can see the little electric pulses on the wall. So, again, uh, the reason I'm playing Finca 1, I paid for her. 2, um, I don't really know this map very well and Fink is sort of a brokenly strong character in that she is one of those characters with a global presence for almost no output all right they got me my team shooting so we push one button my entire team gets a buff no one fucking took it. The camera, that's cool. I don't know how I was getting hit there. Should have pre fired. Mirror's at 75 in objective. Mm, not good. Why did they all go to one window and just stay there? That was weird. That was 
that was some misplays. They they shouldn't have done that. Like I I moved to a different window. Had someone pushed from the other side, Mira would have been distracted. I would have been able to get the kill off. But whatever. It's it's the first round basically. What? What? I don't know what they're talking about. But until they say something like really offensive, I'm not going to mute them. Because they might actually do useful callouts at some point. Um, We went Capkin last time. Kind of want to go Capkin again, honestly. I don't want to fall into my old routine of just playing Capkin every match. And when I say routine, I mean Capkin is my most played defender. Um... <laughs> Of 2018, every month consistently, I just play a lot of Capkin. He's he's easy. Um, his gadgets not that hard to use. Um, it's not always that effective because you know very rarely are the players on the enemy team bad enough to get hit by it because they could just pop it with a single bullet. But you can so find I people. I forget how to play Cap. I anchor right. Um, correct. Yeah, these guys are just not built for yeah, being. Not built for okay, that makes sense. These boys are just trolling yeah. each other. Oh, I missed that. I hate it. Yeah, they're just trolling new players. Just being trolly trolls. Alright. I should have reinforced here. That was bad. Alright. I really wish I knew how to go prone. What's the mark button? There we go. God, man, feeling where I am is so weird with the keyboard and mouse. Well, bandit left. You know, Chunky might be good at the game. So they've already used Fuse, who's an attacking Spetsnaz operator, to blow up that wall and hit me for a shit ton of damage. I didn't hear it either, which is really weird. Uh, through this window. So they might wander their way back over here. Oh, never mind. So there's one reason why I don't think Siege is usually all that fun of a game to watch. Um, I the, the team wasn't calling out that they had the last members of the enemy team over there with them. So I had no idea that the whole team was pushed over there. In my head, I'm thinking, alright, someone's going to flank around, try to catch them by behind. While the other members of the team sort of distract them. Um, wasn't the case because the whole team was over there but nobody was calling it out so how the fuck was I gonna know that so I, I just have to hold the back line and try and do the right thing um, I haven't played fuse yet fuse is usually my most used attacker um, at least he was until Finca's release 
Um, I don't normally use his LMG. I'm trying something out. Uh, but I like Fuse. He punishes people who aren't playing attention, people who are overly defensive and cautious, uh, people who don't use their headphones. Oh, I realized why I couldn't hear the fuse. The headset, the fa the sound's not going to my headset. It's going to the desktop. I'm just wearing this good surround sound headset and not putting the audio to it. We'll fix that for the next game. Uh, they might be basement. Feels like basement. I don't know. They're right here. Same objective room again. I'm gonna tr uh, Oh, I found how to go down. Oh, it's control. I'm gonna try to fuse from above. Alright, so I found out how to go prone. This is what Fuse does. There's a kill. There's another Ranger. Another kill. And then we blow up the floor. There we go. And we crushed it that game. MVP. <laughs> Whew. Um, that was a little mean. I mean, I don't know how many of the people on the enemy team were new. Um, but they all anchored. They were just all huddled in the objective trying to stop down any rush we might do. So I just got above them and fucking put there my little hockey puck shooter and boom, 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 blow them up. Um, ah, we finished a challenge too. Sweet. Let's see what challenge we finished. Uh, but yeah, that's Fuse. Fuse is really strong, but the problem is really good players. One, they don't all set an objective. They, an they, some anchor, others run out. Um, uh, we got, we got this done. All right, sweet. Uh, we're almost on the buck challenge though, which is nice. Even if I don't have the character, I would like to not miss his birthday tags. But yeah, so that's, that's Rainbow Six. I did Okay. Let's see if I can keep that up. The problem is I'm not very consistent at this game at the best of times. So let's see how it is now. And I'm going to switch the audio over to my headset correctly because I'm an idiot. Let's do that right now. Bam. Perfect. See you next time.